So as the monsoon is approaching, I'm sure you all are gearing up for a tree plantation drive. To make this tree plantation drive more successful, we at Holistic Environmental have made this video to help you understand the correct way of tree plantation. Do go through this video before you undertake any tree plantation drive. A few days back, a village near Kolhapur faced a very critical issue. There were snakes entering from all over into the village and the people did not know what to do. There were all types of snakes around, poisonous, non-poisonous. Why did these many snakes enter the village was a question. The main reason that was later found out was a wrong tree plantation. There were a number of trees of Gledatia planted around the village. This tree in the flowering season leads to the mammals and other animals getting disturbed. The poisonous properties of these flowers lead to the mammals running away from this area and they fled into the villages. Mammals like mice fled into the village leading to the snakes, their natural predators following them. When the people planted these trees, would they have ever imagined that such a disaster would follow? When dark clouds start gathering in the sky and the peacock starts dancing, we too are very happy that now the monsoon will arrive. During this period, the enthusiastic people gathered together for various environmental activities including tree plantation. Some of them collect the seeds of different trees during summers and while traveling or moving around different places, they throw these seeds on open lands in the hope that the seeds will turn into trees in the monsoon. By doing this, they feel happy that they have done a good task towards environmental conservation. Though tree plantation is a very important and helpful activity, yet if it is undertaken wrongly, it can be disastrous. The first important thing that you need to understand is where exactly are you undertaking the tree plantation? Is it grassland? Is it open land? Is it a hilltop? Is it a water body? That means the area near the water body or what? Second important thing is to understand the amount of rainfall that occurs in that region. So if it is scanty, you need to plant the trees in accordance. Any type of tree cannot be planted in any area. There are specific trees that need to be planted in specific areas. The animals, birds, insects that dwell in that locality will flourish only on these specific trees. So if you plant wrong trees, they are not going to accept them. And in turn, the whole idea and the whole purpose of tree plantation will be flawed. A few examples for you. Sunbirds need trees like Kanchan, or Bahunia, Kate Savar or Bombax Cuba, Pallas or Fibacea. Hornbills need small fruit bearing trees including neem. Small mammals like squirrels prefer tall trees like Ashok or custard apple and so on. Many insects and in turn birds feeding on them need trees like the Ficus racemosa or in local language Umbar. Butterflies prefer flowering trees and small shrubs, of course the local ones. Monkeys need local fruit bearing trees. So to understand this point as to which trees to choose in the correct manner, we'll take an example. Let's say we choose a particular area for tree plantation. In this particular area, we have done a little bit of research. And we found out that there were earlier a few trees 
a few types of trees like jamun, the neem tree, teak trees and other trees like uh, maybe you could have N, uh, the trees like semun, then uh, you could have moha uh, and the shisham. So if you know that these trees are there and you found out, then the best thing to do is take these trees and plant in that area. You should avoid planting any other trees in that area. There are two main reasons. One, that these trees may not survive in that area that you are planting them. Like you take two trees maybe, like people and uh, maybe the banyan tree in that area and plant it. That tree may not survive there. This could be one possibility and if it survives also, it is not the pure restoration of nature there. The restoration would take place only when you are planting trees that were earlier there in that area naturally. So you would have to do a little bit of research before you do that. And of course, we Holistic Environmental Trust are there to help you. You can reach us out on this email ID of ours for any further queries.